video we made this table, or now we need to make our molds. So for that, I'm going to go ahead and hide my table in a second. But I'm going to go ahead and right click, do create empty, call this mole container. And I'm going to go ahead and add a capsule. Go ahead and pull this capsule up and place it somewhere in the middle. I'm also going to scale this guy up. So let's scale it like that. And let's just make these whole numbers. I'll say 2 by 2 by 2. Well, let's make this 1.5. And I'll bring this guy up like that. And that's going to be our mole, our basis for our mole. So for our mole, I'll we'll call it mole. And I want to make a prefab. So I'm going to drag this down here. And you see now I have a mole prefab. So I'm going to go ahead and let's add to our mole now. Let's make to create empty, I'm going to make some eyes. And for this, I'm just going to add in a spear. Bring this out. Again, I'm going to scale this down. Let's bring it out. These are going to be our eyes. So by looking directly at this like that, again let's scale it down some, and make sure it's kind of recessed, so your eyes don't come out that much, so I'll have it like that. So there is one eye, and I'll duplicate this and bring him next to that and there's another eye so this these are the pupils next I'll do another I'll duplicate that I'll bring it out but I want to scale it down and these are going to be the pupils So if I look at this now, like that, there is my pupil. So let's do some colors here. Let's do material, I'm going to say mole one, and let's just do whatever color we want. Let's say I'll do orange, great. Mole's going to be orange. Here's his eye. Let's get a black because most pupils are black. And there's my bat. So I have this. And drag this inside of there. Mole 2 is actually my pupil. I can actually delete this make it easier and duplicate this guy. Now there are my eyes. Let's pull this guy out some too. So there we go. We have our eyes. Let's go ahead and make a mouth. So again on my mole I'm going to go ahead and create empty. Let's call it nose and for the nose, same deal here. I'm going to make two Q, two spears. Bring it out. Scale it down. And let's scale it significantly down. Let's look at the side to make sure it comes out some. 
So your nose should come out longer than your eyes. Now what I'm going to do is flatten a little bit. And let's scale some. There we go. Just kind of playing with it. So what we're going to do is I have that. I'll duplicate this, take him across, and then I will duplicate it one more time and bring him over. I'll scale this one down like that. And there you go. There's my nose. You can see we can put a tongue in here and a bottom. So let's go ahead and put a tongue on my nose. So let's do one, do a quick tongue. Say so he's coming out. The tongue is actually inside of mole, not inside of eyes for that. And for that, for 3D objects, we have a couple different things we could use. Uh, let's go ahead and use any of these, but I'm going to go ahead and do capsule just like we did before. So let's go ahead and drag this out. And what we're going to do is flatten it significantly. So flatten. Also, we need to rotate it, right? So let's rotate it down so it'll look like a tongue. And then scale it in, scale it down. So there's a little tongue, and again we got to play with it a little bit. Scale it a little bit. Go ahead and make a material for a tongue. I'm just going to call it red. There we go. And there's our tongue. Alright, so we have our mole. What I'm going to do very simply. change my mold color. Let's make it a little something brighter. There we go. So just going to duplicate that mold. Pull him right here. Duplicate this mold. Pull him right here. Then I'm going to select all three. Duplicate this one. Pull him right here. Duplicate this, these three. Pull these to the back. And now you have your molds. I can add in some other colors. Mold 2. Let's make it like a greenish. That'll work. And let's add another one. Mold 3. Let's make it like a, a light blue ish. And let's just simply color my molds. So let's make um, some different colors. Like that, like that. I could make some of these like this, to make their cheeks different, right? And it's just kind of plain. And with that, you have finished creating your.